Hi everyone, I'm Danny the Plumber, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect a sewer ejector system like this. So right now I've started off just with uh, this area here where the last plumbers could not connect the sewer ejector system. They didn't know how. They built a bathroom and they didn't know how to connect up the system. Here's the basin that we're going to be using. A pump's going to go down below. Um, so right now you see a few pipes in this area. Let's concentrate on these black ABS pipes. Uh, right here is a bathroom inside. Uh, there's the bathroom that the other plumbers built. Um, they could not figure out how to drain the system because it could not be uh, gravity uh, drained. So I'm going to install a sewer ejector system in this area here. Right there is the uh, toilet area. They've got one outdoor sink right here and then that third pipe that we're going to be connecting up is the floor drain for the bathroom and also the lavatory uh, sink connection. So those three ABS pipes right there we're going to have to connect up into that system and that system can accept um, you know, to toilet um, sewage and other water and that'll eject it into the regular drain system underneath this person's house. So working in a garage area right here and we're going to start digging it up right in this area here and installing it. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly what to do. We've got three different sizes of pipes coming out here. There's a two inch coming out for the floor drain and lavatory. There's an inch and a half for that outdoor and the three inch uh, for the toilet there. And uh, our basin accepts a four inch. So we're gonna have to kind of, kind of configure all this stuff in a tight little area right there. And this is what makes it tricky for this job. If it was one pipe, which is the kind of standard connecting in there, it would be much easier. All right, so we're gonna get started digging this thing up. We like to use a little chipping hammer here with a shovel head on it to kind of loosen this dirt up. It was pretty uh, adobe-like stuff here. And we just uh, start digging it up mainly by hand, but using that chipping hammer to loosen it up for us, as you can see. Okay, so now we've connected our outdoor sink here. Now I've got an inch and a half to two inch uh, no hub coupling right there. So that was our outdoor sink connected with a combi, connected to the floor drain and the inside lavatory sink right there. And then finally our three inch um, toilet, the wall hung toilet there is uh, coming out and it goes to that Y, which I'll put on a little piece of three inch there and connect it uh, up to our basin. And so this is our main uh, line basically at that point right there for all these fixtures here. All right, so here we've dug a three or four inch uh, little trench here, the circumference of the basin, and we're gonna put some gravel in the hole there. And that is um, to prevent the basin from floating up. This is an outdoor system, and if rainwater or something should get into that trench, that water is gonna drain underneath that gravel a little bit and prevent it from floating upwards. Uh, also, it helps us to kind of level it out a bit, and I'll show you more on that in a second. Okay, so we're just leveling it out as much as possible right now with our eye and the shovel here and just kind of stepping on it, making it as level as possible. But right here, I'm doing the main leveling. I'm getting that basin and I'm using the weight of it just to kind of go back and forth, back and forth. And if we need to add a little gravel in one area, we will do that. But it's important to get this thing pretty well level. Okay, so uh, here's the basin, and it comes with this. This is actually a rubber gasket, um, and that reduces it to a uh, four inch. It's uh, just a push in thing, and the company says just push it in, and that's all you need. But I've added some silicone on there just to give it an extra little security so the water doesn't leak um, there. So it's a push-in gasket that comes with this basin right there. And I added silicone in there. And then now a four inch pipe could go in there. I'm dealing with three inch. So I've got this right here, which is a four by three bushing, four by three ABS bushing. And I'm just gonna slide that inside their rubber gasket right there. And what I'll do also is I'll add some silicone to that just to give it and you know more security just so it doesn't leak they say it will not but um, I'm just gonna add it there and then I will glue in um, an ABS 3 inch pipe uh, 
and so it'll end up looking like this when it's all glued in together. All right, so it's all glued together, and that's what it looks like. I've got a slope on all of these, this pipe going into the basin there, because this is all, at this point, gravity-fed right into the basin. And once it goes into the basin, our Zoller pump will eject it into the regular sewage system. Um, so that's the whole setup. And the model of this basin, it's a Zoller, or Zoller as they call it, um, basin, uh, is right here. 31-1748 that's the one we use and there's a bunch of different sizes that you can use you know some are not as deep so we've leveled it out there pretty well with the rocks and stuff like that um, but that is the setup with our gravel down below a few inches there and I'll put a little on the top also around there here is the two inch that goes to uh, the house this goes underneath the house you know several feet away 20 feet away uh, and I've already attached that to the main sewer line uh, with a like a two by uh, four, four by two Y or something. That's a maple plant, by the way, not uh, something else. And <laughs> here is the lid for uh, the basin here and some of the stuff that comes with it. Uh, here is the rope seal that comes with it. And it's just a sticky seal that goes around in a few places and I'll show you how to do that in a second. There's the lid with uh, the three holes on top. That can be, those two are gonna be the um, discharge and the bigger one will be the vent. Um, so the two inch will be discharge and or vent, either one. And the other one is gonna be the electrical. And there's the electrical grommet right there. And those two gaskets are uh, the vent and the discharge pipe. Uh, so you can see how it's, uh, it's done with those instructions, give you the, those bolts and the nuts and stuff like that, the washers. Um, I'll show you how to get all that together in a minute. There, here is the um, Zoller um, sump pump that we're using and this is good for, this particular one is good for, um, you know, toilet waste. And, you know, um, some of these are not made uh, for that, this particular one is. And so you can see what this one looks like here. And this is the model number that I'm using for sewage waste right there. Um, they have a, this thing's really heavy duty and heavy. And they give you a handle right there. You don't want to lift it by the float or something like that. So pick it up by the handle if you're carrying it. Uh, the one I've got here is a 25 inch cord also. They, I think the other one is a nine foot. Uh, cord. So I've got the 25 foot cord. You can see they are asking to drill a 3 uh, hole for airlock in the discharge pipe and they want that pretty soon after um, that male adapter. And so I've got a piece of 2 inch um, ABS pipe that I'm screwing in with that male adapter and I'll put that 3 inch hole, I'll drill it into the pipe right there. Um, and water does shoot out of that thing but it just goes right into the basin anytime that that pump is activated by the float system. So as water fills up in the basin that white float will kick on and the pump will obviously start draining. Uh, so here I am drilling a 3 16th inch hole and I like to get it somewhere where I'm not going to spray my face if I'm working on this thing down in the basin there. Boom, that's it. Just one side. Real simple um, to do that. Okay, so here is the rope seal that they have which is just a s real sticky um, type thing that's going to insulate this thing and prevent water from leaking out. So they want some of the rope seal on this um, electrical grommet here on the inside there as well as the hole in the middle and the slit right there. They want it all packed in there when we eventually put that electrical cord through the top of the basin there. They also want it on the outside of the basin here, the outside lip and around the circumference and as well as the inside around the circumference of the basin. So they want two pieces and they do offer plenty in the packaging of this rope seal. So um, we'll put it there, we'll put it on that center electrical grommet right there and um, we'll show you how to do this right now. I like to work from two different sides when I'm installing this drainage system like this. So you can see I started that uh, drain um, work on the other side there a little bit just so I can see where that pump ends up. Okay, so here we go with the rope seal. We've got it around 
the inside there and we're starting on that outside and that's all you need just a little bit like that any more than that's just going to goo out on the sides you can see i put some on the reverse side of that electrical grommet there too um, those other ones, the vent and the discharge pipe, don't really need it because they've got that thing super tight, uh, that gasket, and a little soap uh, is helpful when installing that. More on that later. And as you can see, my assistant here is just kind of putting that rope seal on there, just cutting it with a utility knife and making sure you don't drop it in the grass. So I guess he just pulled it off on that one because uh, it'll pick up um, it's super sticky and it'll pick up any grass or dirt real easily. You want to keep that thing nice and clean when installing, obviously. So pretty simple on that one. That's how you install the rope seal. Okay, so now we've got the lid on with the um, discharge pipe ABS coming out right there. Um, I just put that on with the ABS coupling onto that um, two inch ABS pipe that was attached to the pump. And we're starting to get these bolts on one at a time, just a little at a time because it's a little hard to line these um, bolts with the bolt holes up into it. Um, and we just start a few of them and get it a little tighter and tighter and tighter as we go around. You can see that electrical grommet in the center is the electrical cords coming out of there. And um, we're ready to get a vent pipe in that left hole there. And he's just kind of packing that stuff, the rope seal in place as he's tightening these bolts a little bit one at a time. Uh, so that's how all that is done. Okay, so here's our setup um, with our check valve and our service valve here. Um, this is the discharge pipe, and so all the uh, raw sewage is going to the um, main line this way. You can see the arrows, that's my check valve or one-way valve, so the sewage doesn't go back into the pump. There's a ball valve, uh, which I'm using as a service valve in any time I uh, have to service that pump down there or this check valve here or if anything goes wrong you can turn that ball valve off and you would have only a limited amount right there of sewage water that would be stuck in the system uh, instead of having the whole line filled um, with sewage and coming back on you possibly um, so that's what that setup looks like right there all right, so now we're ready to get our final uh, piece in here, which is the vent line. You can see we've got a little dish soap right there. These things become really tight, um, and the dish soap just kind of loops it up for us. Here is uh, what we're using instead of a vent. This is called a mechanical vent. And instead of running it up through the roof and you know around that eave there and having it all ugly and stuff, we can put this mechanical vent that'll sit right there. Um, instead and so the air can come in but the fumes will not escape so you won't smell sewage smells coming out of that mechanical vent and so we'll just you know simply put that rubber grommet in there um, you know with our little soap here and you can put some soap where the pipe goes to right around that area it really helps because it's super tight all right he's pushing that thing down and then we'll get our two inch ABS vent pipe stuck in there a little bit. You can see how tight that is and without the soap it's really hard to get in there. So just kind of shoving that in and it's going to sit just like that. Um, and that, that's going to work just fine for our vent. And uh, that is our final piece. All we have to do is plug this guy in, um, make sure our ball valve is open and I'll wait for that glue to dry a little bit longer and then we will test our whole system by running all of these at the same time, running all the uh, fixtures and running, letting that water go out, checking if there's any leaks anywhere. And after that, um, we're ready to bury this one up and complete this project. As you can see here, we're starting to bury. We've already checked and we're just really compacting it really well. We've got a 4x4. A tamper wouldn't fit in this area real well. So we've got a 4x4 and we're right there and we're just compressing that dirt really nicely down there. And this is what it's gonna, the end result will look like. And this bathroom is ready to be used. And we can even add a little more dirt to that later. 
Um, but that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and like it. It, it really helps with the channel. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys are doing a job like this one. And please don't forget to subscribe. All right, we'll see you next time.